Before you can intelligently find a good host, you need to know about the host's resources and how much they provide, and then you can compare them to other hosts and the cost of those hosts to provide those resources to you. And the resources I'm talking about are the bandwidth, the CPU, the RAM, and the disk space. Those are all very important things for different reasons on your website. And if you have any questions or comments throughout this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you miss new future videos. Now let's get back to it. WPX provides some of the most generous amounts of those resources for a managed host at the price point that they deliver. They're, they're the cheapest managed host with these resources at the amounts they have. So first let's look at disk space. Disk space is basically how much space you have for your website. The more space you have, the more files and more things you can do on the server. For example, a lot of customers at WPX, they host their email on the WPX servers. The more emails you get, if you're like me and you save all your emails, then that takes up more and more space. So having more disk space is very important if you're hosting your email right on the server. The disk space also defines how much space your website can take. And usually the website files themselves, the, the core files of WordPress don't take that much space, but your images and videos, you shouldn't be hosting your videos on your server anyway, but if you do, they take up space. So it's important for those things as well. Recently, WPX increased the disk space on all plans by 50%, which is huge. And that bumps them up above other managed hosts for the price point. They did not increase their prices for these increases in resources. Bandwidth, 100% increase in WPX recently. What does bandwidth mean? What is it actually? Bandwidth is how much traffic you can have in a month, essentially. It takes into account how big your website files are. So if you have a homepage or any page on your site that's two megabytes, it's a pretty big size. You can shrink that down quite a bit. Let's say it's two megabytes and you have the amount of allotted bandwidth per month, 200 gigabytes on WPX, that determines how many times that homepage can be loaded in that month. So if we open up our calculator, 200 gigabytes is 1,000 times megabytes. So every gigabyte is 1,000 megabytes. Let's times that by 1,000. That's how many megabytes we can load. We divide that by two, that means we can have 100,000 page loads of our homepage. And of course, people will be loading other pages as well. So all the size of your pages, they're all being loaded as people visit and browse your site, those things add up in your bandwidth. And once you run out of monthly bandwidth, a lot of other hosts will pause your plan. Uh, that's pretty rare, but most of them give you some leniency. You can go over the bandwidth a little bit. WPX does as well. It will not trigger an automatic account suspension if you go over your bandwidth limit. And the next month it resets. So if you're wondering in practical terms what the file size of a page is, let's check out one of my sites. If you go to GT Metrics and you scan your site, they'll give you lots of information way beyond what Google PageSpeed Insights gives you. So we scanned WPSpeedify.com, which is an Elementor based website. And it's not a big home page, but it's still Elementor based. So it's, it's larger in size than most home pages. Now, after you scan, you go to waterfall and you scroll down to the very bottom of the waterfall. And if I zoom in here, it's quite small. You see down here is the file size, uncompressed 2.48 megabytes. The actual size that's being loaded because I am compressing is 666 kilobytes. Unfortunate number, but there you have it. My point is that 666 kilobytes is the home page load. So now if I go back to my calculator, let's go 200 times 1000, that's our bandwidth for the month in megabytes. So this is kilobytes, that's okay. We'll divide by a decimal. Divided by 0.666 megabytes. So now this home page can have 300,000 loads before we reach our bandwidth limit because it's smaller than the two megabytes we use in our example. And the smaller you can get your pages, with caching and with removing things that aren't required and with compressing your images and optimizing your images and optimizing your code, the smaller you can get your page size, the farther your hosting resources are gonna go. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video.
That's one of the big reasons why making your site's file size as small as possible is important for bandwidth, but it's also important for site speed. The smaller the file size, the faster it's going to load. So not only will you be maximizing the amount of bandwidth you have in a month by reducing your file sizes for your pages, you'll also be increasing your site speed, which is really important. Then we have RAM. RAM is mostly a back-end thing. Your friend and visitors will notice some improvement in site performance when you have increased RAM. WPX recently increased all RAM by 50%. So it's up to 384 megabytes on all plans. And what this means is that you can go into the back end of your website using your page builder, like for example, Elementor or Divi or Thrive Themes or Beaver Builder or what have you. You use your builder on the back end. Maybe you have multiple tabs open even. Maybe there are multiple people working on it from different remote locations. All this takes computer resources to be able to work. And just like RAM on the computer you're using right now to watch this video, assuming you're using a computer, even if you're using a phone, they have RAM too. It, RAM determines how many things you can be doing at once. So when you increase your RAM limit, you're able to do more stuff at once. And so you can have multiple people working on the back end of your site with a heavy page builder and your visitors won't notice. If you have low RAM allowances on your hosting, and you're doing heavy lifting on the back end, as in working in page builders on multiple tabs, for example, your site speed will suffer for your visitors during the time in which you're doing the work on the back end. These increased limits in WPX, they nullify that effect because the RAM is so high, you won't have any problems. So when you're looking at a host, make sure you check out the RAM limits and make sure that, I mean, you learn it by experience, but you gotta make sure that they're high enough. Otherwise, your site speed is gonna be slow anytime you're working on the site. And depending on what kind of business you're running and how you manage your website workflow, you might be working on it a lot. The CPU has also increased WPX. On the professional plan, up to two cores. The elite plan, up to three cores. And this is basically how fast the website can compute or how fast the server can compute requests that are coming in for the website. Just like the CPU on your computer determines how fast your computer can do things, same thing for server. And with these increases, users who benefit from these, as in people who are a professional plan owner or elite plan owner, they can expect to handle 100% more traffic on their sites during peak times. These increased CPU levels, like if you're maxing out your CPU all the time, you gotta upgrade. Because when you have peaks, like for example, Black Friday, if you have an e-commerce site, you might be peaking. At that point, you're gonna exceed your CPU limits. So you always wanna make sure you have a buffer in CPU. Otherwise, your host is gonna start emailing you, which has happened to me many times. And it's, it's annoying. It's something you don't wanna have because the, when you accent your CPU, not only does your host get upset, but also your visitors get upset because all of a sudden your website's really slow. That's when websites start crashing because the CPU can't handle all the requests coming in. So now that we know the four core elements of a host, disk space, bandwidth, RAM, and CPU, we can compare some managed hosts effectively. So today we're gonna to compare WPX and Kinsta and WP Engine. These are all managed hosts. Generally, this is not where you start. So if you have a small website with low traffic and you're just getting started, this would not be the host for you. These are hosts that you go to when you're experiencing some traffic bumps throughout the year, you're making some money with your site, and things are going smoothly. That's when you start looking at managed hosts because their performance is just better than a shared hosting plan. And as opposed to a cloud host like Cloudways, managed hosts provide services. They provide high levels of customer support. They're helping you manage your website. Whereas Cloudways, for example, provides easy access to dedicated servers that don't provide customer support at a high level like managed hosts do. So managed hosts are important to have. Once you start getting more traffic and you don't want to deal with all the troubles of a website, they can help you with their customer service. So if we compare the hosting plans, just the very basic entry-level plan on a monthly subscription, $25 on WPX, $35 on Kinsta, and $24 on WP Engine. And if you see what you get with these options, here, one WordPress install for Kinsta, one WordPress install for WP Engine, and five on WPX. So instantly, it's better. Not only is it, uh, I guess it's more expensive by $1 per month versus WP Engine, which is not a big deal, but five more websites. Right out of the gate, you're given more resources. Here we can have 25,000 visits on Kinsta, 25,000 visits on WP Engine in combination with 50 gigabytes of bandwidth. 
on WPX, it's harder to determine because it doesn't show us how many visits we get because visits, like we saw with the calculator, the number of visits you get really depends on the file sizes of your page, of your website. So if we have the file size that we saw in our example, we can have up to 300,000 visits of just the home page on the example that we have at WP Speedify because the file size was sufficiently small that the huge bandwidth number at WPX provides the ability to service a huge number of potential visits. Whereas Kinsta, apparently, 25,000 visits and that's it. So they'll be tracking, they'll have a counter that tracks how many visits you're getting. When you reach 25,000 in the month, you'll start getting emails saying you gotta upgrade your plan. Whereas that likely won't happen in WPX, at least not to you at really high levels. Disk space, 10 gigabytes at Kinsta, 10 gigabytes at WP Engine, and 15 gigabytes at WPX. And disk space is related to how many files and how big the files can be that you're hosting on your server and how much email you can have if you're hosting your email there as well. And then the CPU, we don't get a lot of information about CPUs from Kinsta and WP Engine, but we saw on this blog post here, the CPU for professional and elite plans at WPX is two CPU cores and three CPU cores respectively. Business must be just one. Doesn't really give a lot of information about that. But let's just say for argument's sake that they're all one. WPX's starter plan has one CPU, Kinsta's has one, WP Engine's has one. Every other metric is better WPX in this comparison for entry level. And it just gets better the higher you go. If you look at Kinsta, the pro version, two websites allow for 70 bucks a month. It's only 50 for 15 websites at WPX. And at WP Engine over here, three sites for 60. And these have 75,000 visits, Kinsta has 50,000. And this will be, in the example we had a moment ago with the WP Speed of our homepage, this would be 600,000 visits at WPX. Way, way bigger than Kinsta and WP Engine. Not to mention, as part of the managed hosting WPX, you get free website migrations, free malware removal, 30 second average support, support to response time, free fixes if the site's offline, free site speed optimization, 30 day money back guarantee, and 99.95% uptime guarantee. There'll be similar services and varying services available at Kinsta and WP Engine as well. I'm not gonna compare every single service. I just wanna compare the resources and how many resources you're given when you sign up for these hosts. So if you wanna check out WPX and take them for a test drive and see how they do for your websites, click on the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you do click through that and end up purchasing and get a commission for that, it does not make it more expensive for you, but WPX shares some of the income with me so I can keep making these videos for you. And WPX is a great host. So if you check them out, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. And if you go through my affiliate link, I really appreciate it. And if you end up deciding to try WPX, I also have a 25% discount for you. It applies to just the first month, but still 25% off. It's better than nothing. The way you use the discount, you choose any plan. You can add an existing domain name of a site that you have, or you can launch a brand new one and choose a new domain name. I'll just pretend we have one here. Click on continue. Choose where your servers are. The server location you choose would be where most of your traffic comes from. When you have the hosting in your cart, click on add promo code and paste in 25 WPX and click on apply. And that's gonna reduce just the first month by $6.25 on this plan. The bigger the plan you get, the more it'll be reduced because it's a percentage. And then all you do is fill out this form, send over your payment and you have your brand bank and new WPX account at a discount. And speaking of site speed, next up you should check out this playlist right here, which is all about speeding up your website. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.